England Patriots versus the Denver Broncos. The game's in Denver. Denver had home field advantage. The game starts at 3.05. All right, injuries first for the visiting Patriots. Sorry, a little background noise there. All right, uh, Jared Mayo, the linebacker, is on injury reserve. The rest are questionable. Chandler Jones, defensive end. Jimmy Collins, linebacker. Rob Gronkowski, tight end. Julian Edelman, wide receiver. For the Broncos, Omar, Omar Bolden, the safety, is on injury reserve. Chris Harris, their cornerback, is listed as probable. Very interesting game in this one. Um, Peyton Manning did not play particularly well, at least I don't think, mm -hmm. um, last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, he played solid. He played efficient. But what we're used to seeing from Peyton Manning, not this season, because this is what we're used to seeing from him this season, but uh, throughout his career, he's a much better quarterback than that. So what is he going to bring in this game? Now, looking at this one, the Denver Broncos have a very good secondary. I uh, saw on ESPN they were doing a little piece about their no-fly zone and all that, you know, those shenanigans and whatever that is. Um, I know what the no-fly zone is, but, you know, it's just silly stuff that they do. But with this one, I'm not sure if the Denver secondary really matches up that well against the Patriots wide receivers because the Patriots have, you know, a lot of small slot-like guys that Tom Brady likes to get the ball to. And... The Broncos' best cornerback is a keep to leave. He's a big physical guy, likes to mark up wide receivers, as well as Brandon Roby, uh, their nickel cornerback. Uh, these guys, if they were playing against their own team, that's the Denver Broncos secondary against a guy like Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders, they would probably match up very well. Against the Patriots, I'm not so sure. I look for a keep to leave to a cornerback to be the one who's going to exclusively play Rob Gronkowski. You have some size and a keep to leave. That's probably your best matchup against Rob Gronkowski, especially with Omar Bolden out. And the Denver safeties are not very big. So it's going to be interesting to see what exactly they do to try to slow down Gronkowski. We know that's where Brady's going to want to go with the ball. So I would expect to keep the lead to get that matchup. The Patriots, you see their uh, injuries, especially with their linebacking core and their outside pass rushers in Chandler Jones. The Denver um, offensive line has not been great. They've been a bit up and down. Both of these offensive lines have not been great. Uh, I would give the edge to Denver when it comes to offensive line play. Can they keep uh, Peyton Manning upright? Is he going to be able to run the ball? And how well is this Denver defense going to play? Interesting game here. Uh, you have, of course, the Peyton Manning-Tom Brady matchup, all that good stuff that people love to talk about. It's a really tough game to pick. I like the Patriots to go in there and get the win. The Patriots didn't finish off that well. Um, Denver had beaten them earlier on. That was when Brock Osweiler was playing. But uh, if anything, the quarterback play is going the other way for Denver. It's not going up. So I would think that that would help New England play better. It wouldn't um, be a hindrance to them because I think Brock Osweiler is probably the better option as of right now. I was willing to see what uh, Peyton Manning was going to be able to do last week, and he didn't do much. So I'm taking New England in this game. I think they get it done. Um, they're going to be getting out of the Northeast where there's the snow coming in. It'll probably be snowing in Denver. I don't know, but I don't know exactly what the weather is going to be. Certainly, New England not playing at home is probably an advantage at this point. That's why I'm going to pick them to win. I like it to be 24-17. Um, to 17. Denver's defense will play well, but I don't think they're going to be able to score enough points because I just don't think Peyton Manning is there. And unfortunately, this will probably be the last game of Peyton Manning's career. Okay, and then the last game is at 640. It's the Arizona Cardinals. They are traveling to Carolina to play the Panthers. I'm pretty sure that um, the snow is going to miss Carolina. Uh, it's down south Carolina, obviously, but they're getting snow in areas of Virginia and Washington, D.C. However, Charlotte is pretty close to South Carolina, so that shouldn't be an issue in this game. Look at the injuries for the visiting Cardinals. David Johnson, running back, Josh Brown, wide receiver, are both questionable. For the Panthers, Jared Allen with the broken foot has been ruled out. Uh, so he's practicing this week. I was expecting he was going to play, but he's out. Jonathan Stewart, running back, Fozzie Whitaker, uh, running back, are both probable. Um, you look at Carolina last week, sure, they were very impressive in the first half. Then coasted a bit in the second half, so where are they going to be, where their head's at? Um, I don't expect them to jump out to a big lead, so are they going to be able to rev it up and stay competitive the whole game? And Arizona was not very good last week. 
course, and Palmer made some mistakes. They uh, allowed Green Bay to get that Hail Mary, and they were able to win in overtime because Larry Fitzgerald took over. So two teams that I don't think are at the top of their game coming into this one, um, but the, clearly the two best teams in the NFC this season. Stewart and Wiz Whitaker, the running backs for Carolina, are both probable, so Carolina is going to run the ball like they like to do. Cam Newton is also going to run the ball as well. Is he going to be able to keep throwing as well as he did last week? Finding Greg Olson, his favorite receiver. Can Ted Ginn be the one who's going to be able to do anything? Because you have Patrick Peterson for the Cardinals. He's going to mark up against the best Carolina uh, wide receiver. However, Carolina's receivers are really not um, anything spectacular. You know, they don't have a Calvin Johnson. They don't have an Odell Beckham Jr. They don't have a Des Bryant. They don't have any of those guys who uh, Patrick Peterson would go and shut down. So as good as Patrick Peterson is, he's going to be a bit neutralized by the fact that um, more pedestrian corners can shut these guys down. So will they put Patrick Peterson on Greg Olson? It's certainly a possibility. But look for him to be the one who's getting a lot of the catches in this game as Carolina looks to run the ball. Josh Norman, I would expect him to go against uh, either John Brown if John Brown plays, or Michael Floyd. I wouldn't look for him to go against Larry Fitzgerald. Even as good as Larry Fitzgerald plays in the playoffs, I think Josh Noble will be better suited going against one of the other um, wide receivers in this game. Very interesting one. I picked the road team in the other one, and this one is a difficult one to pick, so I'm going to go with the home team. I don't expect both road teams to lose. Again, as we, just, we, we discussed coming into this one, neither team... Um, should be feeling too good about themselves because of the way they played last week um, for different reasons. So that's why I expect Carolina to get the job done in this one. It's going to be a close game, though, and it wouldn't surprise me if Arizona wins. But just a difficult one to pick, as we've discussed. Carolina has not lost a home game, though. Arizona has only lost one road game, so that's another variable you got to take into account. I'm going to take Carolina. High-scoring game in this one. i like it to be 31-28 late possibly even an overtime game, but this should be a very exciting one as opposed to the Patriots and the Broncos.